Hi there, welcome to Apple World. So do the police truly accept that Jackie O was killed? Indeed, Miami police let us know they are effective financial planners by examining the reasons and conditions connected with Jackie O's passing. Under seven days after Jackie O. Unfortunately died. Miami police reported that they have formally begun examining her demise. Furthermore, it appears as though there may be something else to this case besides what we know. Her family has at long last ended their silence and uncovered what truly occurred. What's more, you will have a hard time believing the insane conditions that prompted her demise. Furthermore, did she truly go to a phony plastic surgeon? It's been a truly difficult time for DC youthful Fly and his family of late, as they got some extremely miserable news. A couple of days prior, DC Youthful Fly's accomplice Jackie O unfortunately died, and it's been exceptionally hard for everybody. The news broke first on TMZ and they shared that she died while going through a mom makeover medical procedure in Miami. Presently, for those of you who don't have any idea what a mother makeover is, it's essentially a gathering of plastic medical procedure methodologies that attempt to invert or further develop the progressions a lady's body goes through during pregnancy, labor, nursing, and stuff like that, including stomach tucks, bosom expansions, bosom lifts, liposuction, and everything else. Obviously, not every person goes for each and every technique that is under the mother makeover sort, yet in any event, a stomach fold and bosom expansion are typically involved. Then, at that point, there might be one or two other additional items. We don't know precisely what systems Jackie O got, yet we without a doubt realize that she went for a mother makeover in light of the fact that the specialist Dr. Zach posted an image of them together and subtitled it. I'm preparing for my mother's makeover with Dr. Zach. Remain tuned to my YouTube channel for a full reveal. Individuals have brought up how bizarre this is on the grounds that it sort of seemed like Dr. Zach was attempting to pursue clout due to Jackie's celebrity status. Indeed, things didn't go as arranged on the grounds that Jackie tragically died during the methodology. Things began going easy from now on in light of the fact that individuals began diving into Dr. Zach, no doubt. Furthermore, when I let you know everything that they uncovered, it is truly wild. Most importantly, it just so happens that he isn't so much a board-confirmed specialist, since he's just board-qualified. No doubt, I know. It tends to be somewhat difficult to realize the contrast between being board-confirmed and board-qualified, so I will separate them. As per a source, being board-qualified alludes to having finished the doctor residency in a claim to fame or subspecialty but not breezed through the assessment, either on the grounds that he hasn't taken it yet or he bombed it. No doubt, it's not difficult to confuse board qualified with board guaranteed, and individuals feel like this is a slippery method for befuddling individuals. It's lawful yet slippery as F. Presently, I won't say that Jackie's awful passing was the fault of the specialist or any such thing since all medical procedures, in all actuality, do come at the cost of putting one's life in danger. However, certain individuals have been diving into Dr. Zach. Also, let me tell you all that the things that they uncovered are somewhat fascinating, most definitely. Something else that sent off warnings about him is the way that he can't lawfully rehearse autonomously. As per this report, specialist Zachary Arocha is a plastic surgeon who essentially centers around all careful facial restoration strategies as well as bosom and body shaping methodologies under the guidance of specialists Richard Zinowitz and Patrick Sullivan. This was composed before the Jackie O circumstance so disliked individuals are attempting to defame his name or any such thing. This is only the reality. He must be under the guidance of different specialists. What's more, I think this has something to do with his not being affirmed. In any case, it's sort of strange how he would set up training like this. What's more, assuming you imagine that's terrible, indeed, we really want to discuss the surveys that Dr. Zach has. Once more, these surveys were before this occurrence so it's anything but an instance of individuals attempting to destroy him. According to this survey, I wish I had seen this page prior to getting my method. I went to Dr. Zach in April 2022 for Lipo 360. I carried on with the New Life Plastic Medical Procedure, where they gave you the choice to pick a specialist. I picked him since he was on their Instagram page, advancing Lipo 360 on more modest ladies and giving them an athletic seeming as though one audit recently posted. There was no post-operation guarantee. 
I simply saw and conversed with him for a couple of moments just before my arrangement. Likewise, the structure he was working out of was questionable, and it was not what I expected it to be for a clinical plastic medical procedure office. I can't say there are no outcomes since I certainly have a more modest waistline and a flatter stomach. Yet all at once, it's not smooth. There is some fat and skin over my midsection button, and my suggestion is to track down another specialist. Gracious, yet it deteriorates. This other audit said this was the greatest disillusionment of my life. I waited around two to three years to get a medical procedure with Dr. Zach, anticipating incredible outcomes. I finally got to perform a medical procedure with him at a fabulous office. But after the procedure, I scarcely saw any outcomes from the 360. What's more, I was at that point. Minuscule. Not much fat was eliminated. It appears that my strategy was hurried. A month in, I fostered a ton of hardness and protuberances, paying extra charges to dispose of them. Two months in, I felt there wasn't a lot of progress. I contacted the office but didn't get a response. I contacted Dr. Zach and got no reaction. I arrived back at the office and was educated. Dr. Zach left the office and essentially disregarded every one of the patients he had recently carried out procedures on and those that were genuinely recuperating and had a pressing issue. Such as myself, no post-operative care was given to me. I connected by means of IG once more and various pages of Dr. Zach just to see he had perused and overlooked it after booking it. It accompanies all post-operation meetings with Dr. Zach to see that he has now dismissed his patients. Presently, as I said previously, all medical procedures accompany an exceptionally high risk, and that is why post-op care is vital. Yet, as per this subsequent commentator, they didn't get a lot of post-operative care from Dr. Zach. Presently, I want you all to remember this since we will return to it shortly. In any case, back to Jackie O. Her family reported her passing, saying it was with disheartened hearts. We share with you that Jacqueline, also known as Miss Jackie O. A., died on Wednesday, May 31, est, 2023. Our family is still handling this extremely grievous and surprising misfortune. We ask that you kindly give us protection during this time. Will Donnell likewise made an announcement saying we are profoundly disheartened by the death of Jacqueline Smith, known to the world as Jackie O. A skilled, wild, and outgoing relative whose effect will be everlastingly prized and missed. Jackie O. was a caring companion and dearest partner of the wild and outcast all through the five seasons. All the more critically, she was the colossal mother of three wonderful kids. The Bet Media Bunch extends our genuine sympathies to the Smith family. DC Youthful Fly B. Simone, Scratch Cannon, and all the companions who have adored and really focused on Jackie O. During this troublesome time, her best bud B. Simone additionally posted, I can't rest this evening, Jackie. We miss you, young lady. Your friends are broken and your family is squashed. Also, I am still in shock. Man. Jack, you make every second count. You were an astonishing companion, a business visionary, or more than one of each, an incredible mother. It's truly endearing to see how everybody discusses what an extraordinary mother Jackie O was and checks out her Instagram. That is really obvious, particularly on the grounds that her last post was about her children and how much she cherished them. This piece of my life, this little part it's called bliss. It's simply so appalling. Also, for several days, individuals considered what precisely befell her. There were a wide range of speculations zooming around, and keeping in mind that underlying reports had it that she had experienced a cardiovascular breakdown, individuals actually felt like something turned out badly during the medical procedure and that it was all the specialist's fault. All things considered, as per the police, Jackie O didn't die during a medical procedure, but rather in a lodging near the clinic where she decided to remain and recuperate. Miami police report that it was not long before 10-0 Wednesday night when Miami Fire Salvage answered this inn on Southwest First Road, close to downtown Miami in the wake of getting a call about a lethargic lady. Groups took her to the Leniency Emergency Clinic, where, regardless of attempts to revive her, she was articulately dead. Recall the commentator who said she didn't get great post-op care subsequent to Dr. Zach finishing her body? Indeed, individuals are presently conjecturing that perhaps Jackie didn't get post-op care by the same token. Presently, 
I know that a ton of celebs decide to recuperate in an inn rather than an emergency clinic, so the specialist can't be faulted for that. Yet, it seems as though the police likewise concur that this is a dubious passing since they are exploring the situation. The police let us know they and the clinical analyst's office are exploring the conditions encompassing the passing, and the case is in its early stages. This is a particularly miserable case. Also, fans have been sending sympathies to Jackie's family, saying they watched the video of Jackie O taking her children to see Little Mermaid last week, and now she's gone. Still so miserable and frenzy. Jackie's circumstances are so miserable. Every one of her companions' posts about her made me cry. My heart is so heavy for them for DC and her infants. I truly wish passing didn't exist, man. It's so out of line. There have additionally been remarks slamming the specialists, making statements like there's something very agitating about Jackie O's passing.